Luther Beat Jedi. What's going on, guys? Back in with another video. Since the beginning of time, well, time began in 2002, Star Wars fans have been enamored with clone troopers. Now, I'm going to try my best to break down why that is, or at least give you my opinion on the subject and explain how I feel about it. First, I want to say, while you're here, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, by all means, feel free to do so. It would mean a lot. We were first introduced to clone troopers in Star Wars Attack of the Clones. In Attack of the Clones, we see Obi-Wan tracking down the bounty hunter to Kamino, and we're introduced to the Kaminoans. We learn that the clones were created using the template of one of the most deadliest bounty hunters in the galaxy, and they were ordered roughly 10 years prior. We see them later on in the film at the Battle of Geonosis, and even though the 3D rendering is a little bit dated, at the time it looked great. But I think we can all agree that the clones we see in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith pales in comparison to that in which we see in the Clone Wars. Seeing Cody and Obi-Wan cutting it up before Obi-Wan leaves for Utapau, and then later seeing Cody turn on Obi-Wan when Order 66 is executed, may hit at the time, but it's not until after we watch the Clone Wars and the characterization of the clones is really expanded upon that it starts to hit different. What even about clone troopers is so interesting? They're just like stormtroopers, but they have slightly different armor. Well, I think that's not true at all. The difference between clone troopers and stormtroopers are stormtroopers are never given proper characterization. They're never fleshed out. They're never made to be really human. And if not for the little scenes in Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, the entirety of the Clone Wars, and the Bad Batch, we'd probably just see clone troopers the same as we see stormtroopers. But it's because of the characterization that we see in the Clone Wars that really makes us start to feel for these clones. On top of the fact that their armor is just badass. You've got your Phase 1, your Phase 2, your ARC Trooper, your Public Commando, you name it. And then add in your different colorways, your battalions and your legions. If you want to get creative about it, you could take any clone trooper, put any color combination on him, any pattern, and it would work. Especially when it comes to collecting, fans love clone troopers. They're fun to army build, they're fun to make customs with. And I'm not just talking hot toys. Star Wars The Black Series, The Vintage Collection, Lego, fans eat that shit up. I know we've all got our favorites, Captain Rex, Cody, Waxer, Boyle, Fives, Echo, Hard Case, Jesse. Let's not forget the entire Bad Batch. What really makes us care about the clones is the tragedy. Clone troopers were bred to fight in a war that was fabricated from the beginning. They had chips placed in their brains to make them more docile and subservient. And because of the characterization we see in the Clone Wars, we start to sympathize with them. We learn that they're only fodder in a game that they know nothing about. It's not until the Art Trooper 5s starts to uncover the plot behind the inhibitor chips that he's this close to revealing the truth before he's silenced. Seeing the 501st march up to the gates of the Jedi Temple with Vader has a whole new meaning once you learn that they're not doing it on their own volition. Most of them didn't even have a choice, and that's what makes it so heartbreaking. They were just tools to be used to help overthrow the Jedi and the Republic and then be thrown away. The Jedi generals they fought with for three years were gunned down just because they were told to do so. There were only a select few, such as Captain Rex, that were able to escape that fate. We see that after the Republic has fallen, the newly crowned Empire really has no use for clone troopers. The Empire sees them as obsolete, and there have been cases where inhibitor chips are starting to wear off and clones are waking up to the realization. And that's one of the reasons I really enjoyed the Bad Batch is because we get a look at clone troopers post Revenge of the Sith at the rise of the Empire. And we see that they're just doing tests on them, throwing them away, completely treating them as if they're nothing. I wish we could have seen more of that. I wish they would have developed and spent more time delving into the clones and eventually maybe a clone rebellion and ultimately what happened to them. But that's a story for another time. I really think the Bad Batch was cut short. I think in the long run they had plans for at least a couple more seasons, but I digress. At the end of the day, I'm just some guy talking to a camera telling you that I love clone troopers. If given the choice between stormtroopers and clones, I'm picking clones every day of the week. I know that the irony isn't lost on me that I'm wearing a shirt that says trooper and it's got a stormtrooper on it. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you feel this way about clone troopers? Is it just nostalgia because I grew up with the prequels? Do my older viewers not feel this way because they're more biased towards stormtroopers because they grew up with the OT? Is it just mass hysteria? I'd love to know what you guys think. As always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. One thing I pride myself on is always engaging with anyone that has something to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
If you made it this far, thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next one.